Hi, I'm Shobik. I'm from India. I did my bachelor's of in computer science in India, and now I'm here to pursue my master's in computer science in University of Tartu. Today, I'm going to answer some of the questions about my coursework, living in Tartu, and maybe some internship opportunities as well. There are really like there is academic affairs specialist and my program director where I can go like ask them which courses should I choose like which specialization can I appear for and how can I choose my master's thesis like this are, and these are the questions they can be asked and if you have are facing any problem with any courses you can also discuss those things with them as well but and they're easily accessible you just do need to drop a mail and sometimes you don't even have to drop email and go to them directly. They are very accessible in that kind of way. I won't say like it's a lot of independent study, but I think all courses you have to work independently for some part, like for some hours course works. You have to always work independently because there are homeworks we need which you need to do alone. Like uh, when there, there are also group projects as well, but. Uh, in independent study, it means that you have to like work on your own, have to search the net, have to consult like uh, to collect data from textbooks to uh, like understand things better. So yeah, uh, kind of it's independent based, but there is always other things like you can do it teamwork as well as the teacher like help from the teachers, the course, the online courses, everything. Well, uh, as I'm from computer science department, we always have coding as our passion because we are all coders and uh, we can go to ICPC, which is one of the most important, like most prestigious uh, competitions of uh, in programming language and programming field. And then we always have these games and robotic competitions, which we can participate in. I think yeah, uh, it's kind of related to technology always, but it's more of the application we do as the ex extracurricular activities in our department. Yeah, this is really interesting. One of the things that for algorithmics, which is one of the most important courses in computer science, masters of master in masters, it's like one like uh, in one week we have two lectures by the professors and we have one practice session from the TAs. It's like you have the lectures, you have you have done your homeworks, then every day you need to present your homework in front of the class along with your TA helping you. And now what happens is that when you have presented your homeworks, you have to discuss with your fellow classmates, like what is lacking in there, what you have done really good. And yeah, like there are also karma fines for the discussions and everything. So it's really like interaction, like interaction among the people, discussion, what you have done differently, what my classmates have done differently. Yeah, it can be like, it is a, like content of both, uh, like lecture based and discussion based. See, if you're living in Tartu, I think English is kind of enough because people understand English. But according to me, if you're staying at some place, like you have to do your groceries, like living there and have to do your daily activities there, go visit to the supermarkets, go traveling buses. For that, I think a little bit of Estonian is always a good idea, you know. Like it's always good to know the local language because you you never know what will happen if you if you face someone who doesn't know English at all. It's like the Tartu is kind of a student town, so it's mostly you have to uh, go to school and like attend lectures in your weekdays. But weekends there are a lot of parties. Uh, you can like interact with many people and they're really interesting you get to learn you know, a lot and there are also events always going on in this town of Tartu you can network with the industry professionals you can talk with the local people here get to know them know their languages culture etc on the first semester I had to take the school courses we for which I just took one online course which is learning data analytics which is kind of interesting because uh, I plan to do my specialization in data science track 
but apart from that next semester i am going to take digital photography which is like one of the most uh, courses i am excited about next semester it kind of depends from courses to courses but most of the courses have homeworks at the beginnings like six or seven uh, homeworks that you have to finish those in deadlines, given deadlines, and after that they have one exam or maybe two exams as midterm and final, and that's it. And they accumulate all the points from homeworks as well as the exams, and you get your final results. And the nice thing is that sometimes you have bonuses as well. For example, for algorithmics, one can like score as 114, 120 out of 400. That's the fun of it. One of the things is that uh, my friends, of course my friends, the memories we are making here and this is just the first, first semester but, but I think I have made a lot of memories here and the education of course what, what I am from like the purpose here is education firstly I am going to take knowledge from here and also some memories like good memories you know This is a kind of one word answer you know like consistency it's not always about the hard work, but the smart work and consistently that like that is really important everywhere. And University of Startu is nothing like it does focuses on many different things, but consistency is always the key to anything.